Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. He has more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brother, we're going to be getting into some more information, talking about how important the ley lines are, not only to our spiritual energies, but also for our physical bodies as well. The Most High has everything planned out perfectly. And um, there's still a couple of people who are talking about uh, this information being witchcraft or just using the Bible and acting as if everything that we need is in the Bible. Do you think you would have found out that uh, Paul had gone to Britain and Ireland if you just read the Bible? Do you think you would have figured out the importance of the ley lines if you just read the Bible? Do you think you're going to figure out why the other nations have hidden this information and why it's been so important for them to uh, keep this information away from us while they're using it behind the scenes if you only read the Bible? You see, if you're still stuck on the Bible only and everything hasn't come out of the Bible only, this might not be the place for you. Maybe you should go to the other, uh, other channels that only want to read out of the Bible. Only read out of the book that your enemies gave you. So you keep saying witchcraft. That just shows how you know you haven't really connected to this information. And it might not be for you. If anything that's outside of the Bible is witchcraft, who told you that? The enemy is the one who told you that. Everything in this world can be used for good and for evil. They're using it for evil and telling you not to use it for good. But if you can't get this understanding, then please be my guest. Go to another channel. So the Bible is given to us and, it, and it's definitely important. No one's saying that it's not. But a lot of this information, the Most High said, knowledge was going to be increased. He's already given you a book that was for everyone. Now he's given information to select individuals to bring out the rest of this truth here at the end. So I'm going to be talking about some more information today that explains more so why these other nations have been going out of their way to keep us off of certain lands. how they've been uh, destroying our energy. How that's been the chief aim. See, they let you know who you are as far as being Israelites. But they've been working to keep you away from your power, away from your energies. You know, keeping you away from the energy sources. And if trying to use rocks and crystals is somehow witchcraft, prove it. Go to your channel, make a video, and prove it. But you don't see other other all these people who hold those ideals about any of this stuff being all this stuff being witchcraft. What are they doing? They're teaching the same things they've been teaching for years. Nothing new. Those are the same channels that are teaching you about the chip, teaching you about vaccinations, and teaching you about being scared of absolutely everything. And now making making you scared of you know rocks and crystals. And oils and things of that of that manner. These things are not being worshipped. They're being used. They are tools to amplify our power. Now, if you don't want the ampli amplification, don't use it. Real simple. But now let's get into a little something here real quick. 
a brother actually um, recommended me to get this book. So I went ahead and uh, purchased this one, The Magnetic Blueprint of Life. And we're going to be getting into this book real quick. Um, but it talks about science and the way that we are born and the needs of our bodies. The need, what a section we're going to get into today, the needs of our um, bodies, you know, in our inner, in our energies, our spirit has needs. Okay. And you're going to see a little information right here that we're born with. If we're born with certain needs, do you not think that the most high would have set it up that those needs will be met here on earth? Of course he would. But see, this is the information that the other nations don't want you to get. That's why these books are really expensive and hard to get. But thank the Most High that, you know, we're all working together in order to be able to purchase these books and then bring up this information. See, a lot of people are getting, I've been seeing more videos about ley lines all of a sudden popping up, you know, and um, people bring up other information that we've been talking about. But see, the problem is they just bring it out like it's for everybody. The ley lines are, you were given to our people in order for us to keep, you know, our bodies tight, our spirits tight. Our spirit's connected. And that's the thing that that explains more so how deep uh, Deuteronomy 12, 1 through 5 is about, you know, coming in and destroying the other nations, you know, holy places, rooting them out, getting them off of our, you know, all these sacred sites. Starting to make so much sense now. Okay. Let's see here. Now, let's go ahead and read a little bit here. So, again, the magnetic blueprint of life, okay? We're going to start at the bottom. The magnetic mother. And, see, and also, you know, they, they were pushing in the, Old, in the, in the New Testament about the uh, Holy Spirit being male. So that's why when we started talking about the earthly mother, many people got off the train. You know, they don't want to they don't want to hear about that because it says he here. So therefore, the Holy Spirit must be a he. You see, that's what you know, if you're only Bible only and that's all that you're going to read. Yeah. I mean, I could prove that, you know, through the, you know, through the Holy Spirit that the most high, you know, and the earthly mother or the Holy Spirit, you know, is like is like a male and female. But there's also other information in other books about that as well. But if you only want to believe what the Bible says and the way that it's printed right there and you're not going to do any research, you know, and realize that there's going to be more information, I said you're going to be stuck. So let's get it. Let's get it right here. This is already talking about this right now. The magnetic mother, our, our mother right now, the Holy Spirit. OK. Although we have previously reported information, OK, on this research. We believe in repeating this information for your consideration as a real lesson in inborn intelligence. Okay, these are things that animals have, and of course, we have it as well. Okay? Newborn chicks, birds, kittens, puppies, and rodents have the ability to know without instruction the secrets of nature. Okay? necessary for their survival and growth. The general scientific community is slowly becoming aware of this phenomenon, best realized in 1977 and 1978, in studies on chimpanzees and gorillas, an experiment okay, that we first accomplished many years ago, reproduced hundreds of times, shows the importance of this realization. Now, see, they're barely getting to this information in the 1970s. Our people have known this forever. That's why, you know, the Most High gave us that instructions. Gave us the instructions of Enoch. Told us how to um, build our sacred places on these ley lines. In order for us to get the benefits that you're going to see right here. Check this out. Place a horseshoe magnet in a cage. Immediately after the baby chick hatches, place it in the cage while it is still wet from the shell. As soon as the baby is dry, it goes to the magnet, walks inside the magnet's two poles, 
and lies down. Within a few minutes, it will get up, walk out of the energies and remove itself to the furthermost part of the cage from the magnet. Later, the same chick would return to repeat the process and this would continue during its growth. A newborn bird, kitten, puppy, or rodent will do the same. So it seems like it's going right there, right? The So the chicken right there is going to get reset, get its energies together. And these different animals will do the same thing. Would that not be the case for our people as well? You know, would it not be the same case? Now you start thinking about it. We got ley lines. We have sacred, you know, places of worship right there on those ley lines. We have a Sabbath day. We would go to our sacred places on our Sabbath day, get our bodies rejuvenated, get our spirit rejuvenated, right? That's why when they would go to these, these hell houses of churches of theirs, you know, we would go a couple times a week, you know, Sundays and Wednesdays. We'd go there and we would pray. And then we would come out feeling good, feeling pretty good. And then we need to kind of go back again, maybe during the week, to kind of get that good feeling once again. Now, these places are built on what? Our ley lines. So it would make sense that as we were going to their churches, that we'd be getting like a positive feeling because of the, you know, <clears throat> the power, the magnetism that would be rejuvenating our bodies. Now, imagine how much better that's going to be when the true power gives us our ley lines back and gives us our sacred places back and we're going back, you know, to get rejuvenated over and over again. Because I know I would feel good when I went to church, you know. Might not feel all the way good. Now I wouldn't always get like 100%, you know, a great feeling or whatever, uh, whatever else, but I would feel a little bit better, able to take on the week. Now it makes sense as to why they try to get you on those ley lines. They, they get power from our prayer, but we also get a little jump or a little boost by going to church. Just imagine what that boost is going to be like for us, like I said, when the Most High gives us our place back and really ramps up the ley lines. So let's continue. In our research facilities, we place magnets at different locations where our animals roam without uh, undue confinement. The magnets are placed for only positive or negative energy. Animals seem to know when they need a separate magnetic energy for their welfare. They will go to the specific energy magnet according to their system's needs. Now, like I said, you're, here we go. You got different needs. You got different magnets set up. And in the... In the and innately, the animals already know where to go depending on what they need. Do you not think that the Most High set the same thing up for our people? Of course he did. Do you not think that the other nations know this? Yes, they do. How do we know this? By their actions. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> it is only recently that medical science has come aware, has become aware that the human uh, baby has its own sign language, physical movements, as well as vocal, and uh, trying to communicate. This is a field of research that is most needed in order to research, study, watch, record, and instruct this new translation of the human baby's physical body language into our own adult language. Animals are very much the same as people. As any pet owner can tell you, <clears throat> uh, a cat or dog can sense energies, personalities, smoke, odor, and danger faster than the most faster than most other pets. If a cat, dog, or baby chick can sense the benefit of a magnet's energies, and man finds it so difficult to believe in this aid, this could uh, become another example of how man ignores his natural environment, so important to his health healing, and happiness. And see, many people are going to ignore this information. But see, the Most High is showing you by giving this information back and this understanding back that this is true. We need our energy. We need our ley lines. 
<clears throat> they're very important. And they actually affect us in many different parts of our life. Health, healing, happiness, spiritual, jump-starting, all that good stuff. Okay? So you just think about that again. Worship. We have an innate need to worship. That's, that's where we're born with, especially you know, the Hebrew Israelites, especially, right? And then we know that when we go, we will have, you know, we'll go there on the Sabbath, our high holy days. Maybe just go just because our body tells us we need, you know, that magnetism. We need that jump start, right? Just like these animals are doing. You don't think you think the animals are born with it, but we're not? Of course we are. And like I said, the other nations know that know as well. So that's why we need to go, you know, to get a reset, a reboot, physically and spiritually. Now, how we know that the other nations are totally aware of this. What has been, what have they done? Redlining. What is redlining? Certain areas that we couldn't live. Certain areas that we couldn't buy property. So what are they doing then? Keeping the best properties and land to themselves. It's not all about just how great the land looks. It's about the energies that are actually on those lands. Does that start to make sense now? As to why they would not let us buy properties in certain areas. Why certain areas are more expensive now in order to keep us out. It's all about ley lines and power and energy. Then, in, and you know, in those great areas, right? Do they have, uh, they don't have a bunch of um, liquor stores on every corner, right? No, they don't. Because, you know, they want, they have, uh, what is, they have like very um, healthy foods. They'll have very healthy foods. You know, the little yoga places. They got all their, you know, all their parks. All in these really expensive areas that have been set up to keep us out. Gated communities. So they kept us out at first with redlining. Now they keep us out with how expensive the houses are. This stuff was not done on accident. They were totally aware of the ley lines. They were totally aware of the of the power. So they're able to get, you know, the, our, the other nations who can get in these areas, you know, they can get these energies. They can get the reboot of their energies. That's why it seems like they're so happy. That's all plays part into it. In our neighborhoods, they kicked us far away from the ley lines they possibly could. Took that information away from us so that, you know, we won't be looking for the ley lines. We will not be looking for the energies. Just look at it. It's not on accident. They, so they, you know, kick us kick us out of our areas. These you are our lands. <clears throat> they kick us out. Then they kick us away. You get us away from the ley lines. Then they give us, hor you know, horrible foods, very easy access. We got, um, you know, liquor stores, junk food, very easily and accessible to us in order for us to, you know, not eat well. They give us this, this, the slave diet. And they make it seem as if you want to eat healthy, there's something wrong with you. You want to eat like the white man. You see, I mean, they make it so it's like, uh, you know, as society, you know, you got to eat like crap in order to be down. The stars are starting to make sense to you. But see, you're not going to get all this stuff if you only read the Bible. They're keeping this stuff away, away from us because they don't want us to understand how important the ley lines are. Any of that stuff. They don't want you looking up because in the Bible, you know, they talk about Jeremiah about how, you know, you should be looking up at the stars and everything else. You know, I got attacked for that two years ago. But how far we've come now. So, yeah. So now take a look at it. Redlining. Keep us out of the areas. Keep the benefits for themselves. So you look at them, they look like they were so much healthier and you know, and, they were, and things are going well for them. And they seem to be so much happier when they were being blessed, of course. Right now that they're not being blessed so much, they're having a hell of a time now. But now take a, you know, take a look at it. Think about it. When they got over there in Britain and Ireland, what were they doing? That's why I was showing you how from the 1200s to the 1600s. And some brethren were bringing up the whole uh, point of the, um, the Crusades around those times. That makes sense now. 
they're crusading really against the Hebrews, taking over their lands and building up their churches. Putting them on our ley lines, kicking us off of our own lands, giving us the worst lands, keeping the best ones for themselves. It's all making sense. You know, that was that conjunction in 1200. Makes sense. And then we take a look at the natives when they got over here. Next conjunction, 1600s, they get over here. 1492 to, you know, 12 to 2020. What have they been doing? Natives, they came in, took the lands, especially up here in America also. They did it down in South in Central America, in South America. They came up and did it over here as well. What did they do? Took the lands. What did they do with the natives? Pushed them off the lands. They kicked them out of the East Coast. Said they were doing them a favor because the white people were going to come over and take it anyways. So, you know, so they wouldn't fight. They would just kick you off your, off your lands and go move you to Oklahoma. Well, what did they do? Take advantage of the ley lines. Started putting up their societies, building up their churches, getting empowered. Then eventually they went over to Oklahoma, took those lands too. Kicked them up, you know, up to the north, gave them the worst lands. You see, they're talking about all these, uh, you know, they're taking ley lands there. They were up in South uh, South Dakota. And I'm sure there's, they said it was because they found gold. You know, it's, you know, they're taking advantage of the ley lines. Because I'm sure there's a lot of, there's a lot of spiritual power up there. Where Mount Rushmore is. The Badlands. You know, even from space, you can see the Native American face in that area. Showing you who owned those, who those lands are for. But they've taken everything and they built up their churches and taken over our ley lines. And now you're looking at scientific, you know, experience right here, showing you how the animals are born innately needing that positive and negative charges of, you know, magnetism. You don't think our bodies need the same thing. Now you understand why we are, we have been in such a horrible state, a dead state, a zombie state. Because they've taken us away from our connection to the ley lines. Took it for themselves. Kept us away from that. Built their, you know, their communities around that. Gated communities. You guys don't belong here. You know, got their churches on our ley lines and then don't let us go to their churches, right? This is like a this is like the white church. You guys go ahead and go to your black church that's gonna be in the horrible part of town, away from the ley lines with no power. And then like I said, that's when you just, you know, we were in that horrible state because that's all part of the curses now you understand the curses are much deeper than the blessings as well when you read the blessings and how all the good things are happening to you well how is that why is that because you have the, the certain lands you have the promised lands you have the lands with the connection to the most high you have the lands with the ley lines so therefore everything works out for you you see how the other nations didn't get empowered until they took over our lands. And as soon as they took over our lands and started using their, you know, our ley lines, they got more and more power. You know, most I blessed them and gave them power to take us over. But you see, their power just kept on, kept on increasing because of these ley lines and because of their understanding on how, and, you know, on how to use it. So right now, so you look at it, redlining and neighborhood health. The people who have control of these lands and have their, you know, taken over the sacred areas for themselves, they have the power. So you got that redlining right there in neighborhood health. So people are going to think about just the neighborhood health, just they're not going to be talking about the ley lines. They're not talking about that. They're just talking, about, oh, well, then, you know, we put up nicer stores and stores that feed you better. And no, I said, yeah, that's part of it. You know, keeping the body strong physically and spiritually with the energies. And they ate better. Us, we had no powers, we had no ley lines, and then we were eating horribly. So this is a whole lot deeper than just taking over our lands, and that's it. And I know that you guys are going to come up with even some more understanding and be able to actually put it in the comment section. I said, this truth is growing like crazy. People are trying to take it, you know, and, and explain it themselves. 
But without the Most High, they're not going to make that connection. He said, I'm not going to take what my enemies have told me is the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And when you're Bible only, that's exactly what you're doing. Well, they gave it to me, so this, this is it. This is all there is. Look how much deeper this is. And there's no way that we could get this without the Most High. No way to get this understanding without the Most High. Animals are born with these innate abilities to sense things. We are as well. Even more so. We've been disconnected from our power. But we know that very soon, he's going to jumpstart those ley lines again. And he's going to give us, you know, everything back that the other nations took. And he's preparing us to understand what is to come. And see, the other nations are what? Crying about wanting things to go back to normal. They're crying because they want you guys to listen to them. They want us to listen to them and not question them. You know, I said they want us to take this vaccine because it's good for us. I'm cracking up because we're always considered to be 13% of the population. But damn it, if I look up, if I keep looking up at the news, there's another, another black woman that they keep prancing by putting out there taking a vaccine. I've seen like, that's what I've seen. I said, if we're only 13% of the population, why are you guys just constantly pumping, you know, our people to have to take the vaccine? Why are they constantly pumping that we need to take, you know, and as they put uh, the black woman out there, they've been saying day after day after day, you know, and that's what they've been pushing. Hey, look, black people, don't, you know, look, she took it. You guys are going to be good. And that's what they've been pushing this entire time. Why would, Why is that so important for our people to, to take it? Because they're trying to cut us away from our power. They're trying to cut us away from the ley lines, trying to cut our spiritual connection to the Most High. And they keep on saying, well, I understand because of Tuskegee, you know, that a lot of black people are apprehensive about taking, you know, this vaccine. I think there's a whole lot of people apprehensive at this point about taking your vaccine. So because they know that you guys lie about a lot of stuff. But there's like constantly throwing out a out of I saw a black uh, doctor, a man that they threw out there and he's, you know, and it's like they just trying to throw black faces out there. It was just so you guys can feel better. Here's a black man right here. You know, he's a doctor. So you should just listen to everything he says. Oh, hold on. We had a black woman who actually helped make the vaccine. So look, you guys, look, we're not going to lie to you. This is, look here. As we get more information, now you understand why it's such a push to get our people to take this. Because we have been broken away. We've already been broken away from our power and our, and our lines, our ley lines. Now the Most High is giving us this information for us to go ahead and get prepared for what's to come. Right here at the precipice, okay, of the conjunction, the reset conjunction. Most High's already pulled the cord, pulled the power for the other nations in, in March at the beginning of all this. Now we need to, like I said, go to our power even more. Pray that he's going to give us, because we already know he's going to, you know, reinstitute his society and his people and the Gentiles that are cleaving on to the chosen people. We've got a whole lot more to bring you guys. All praise is the most high, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge Yahweh Shai. Shalom, family.